Hi, I'm Victor. I wanted to cover block in this video. Symbol is SQ. They were previously called Square, and they're a financial technology company best known for their cash app that you may have on your phone. I have it, and so do uh, tens of millions, if not hundreds of millions of people around the world have it. And they also do payment processing. So you may go into a restaurant or a store and pay on the Square application uh, there. In addition to that, they're really trying to pave a road for themselves to be a significant player in the future of payment systems overall, which involves cryptocurrencies and really Web 3.0. It's an exciting company, and I'm glad I'm an investor in this company. Additionally, I believe that it's a good investment on my behalf, and I'd like to tell you why. So this is the most recent uh, quarterly earnings, and overall, the company is profitable, generating really good free cash flow. And they've had their, their primary businesses, I would call them their more traditional businesses, payment processing, and the cash app are doing really well. Um, those, for example, the cash app, grew 26% and the, the Square application that you would use at a restaurant and so forth grew 41%, really good. The piece that went down was the Bitcoin business. Bitcoin revenue went down significantly, almost 50%. Part of that is that Bitcoin itself, the price has really gone down over the last 12 months, as well as the number of transactions in 2022 Stocks are down, cryptocurrencies are down, the number of transactions is down. So that part of the business is down significantly. But I'm a believer that it's going to go up. I believe in cryptocurrencies, blockchain, uh, Web 3.0, digital currencies are part of the future. So it's understandable why revenue went down and I'm comfortable with it. Now, I'll borrow a saying that Warren Buffett has used, which is price is what you pay, but value is what you get. And I think there's a lot of value in block currently. As you can see by the chart, they traded very high just very recently. Now, for their particular technology and how people use it, right after COVID, it made sense that, hey, people are going to be transacting online. Um, they're going to be doing using DoorDash, all kinds of things that are going to generate revenue and profit and free cash flow for Block. So it's understandable that it just shot up, but maybe it shot up too high. I would I would agree with that. But the downward movement, it just doesn't make any sense because the price of Block today is comparable to before COVID two years ago, but the company is far larger generating far more you know, free cash. It's just a bigger company and in my book worth far more. So I believe that it's undervalued and you get a lot of value for the price that, that you would pay. I believe that Block is undervalued or discounted by 71%. Let me take you through the numbers. Their most current year, they had $714 million of free cash flow, which is really good for a growing company that continues to dynamically grow. Last uh, five years, they've grown at a 60% rate and they're not slowing down. They just continue to grow and they continue to get into businesses that have high growth. So that free cash flow is incredible that a growing company can generate it. And I expect they're going to gen generate far more cash flow, similar to Facebook and other companies in their sector. So looking at their free cash flow, I believe it's going to grow years two, three, four at 40%. And then more long-term, I expect that they're going to grow 6%. I believe this long-term growth is a little conservative as well as the immediate growth as well. But if I use those factors along with a weighted average cost of capital of 8%, I get a value for the company of $74 billion, but their market cap is $44 billion. Down at a share level, I calculate that their shares are really worth $128 per share, but they're trading at $75 per share. So it really provides a 71% discount that um, makes it an attractive option for me. So let me cover the performance of Block. The last five years, just great performance growing 60%. And 
doing that by also raising their profitability. Last year, they grew 86%. It's, it's just a really good, really good, good growth company. They also generated free cash and they've grown the rate that they're generating free cash over the last five years. Their balance sheet's really strong. Example, current assets are $11.8 billion and their total liabilities are $11.7 billion. So they could pay all liabilities immediately. So really strong balance sheet. Q1 came in in kind of a mixed report. Their, their uh, established businesses, profitable, growing. So the Cash App, the uh, Square applications did really well. Bitcoin held them back. And I had comments about where the Bitcoin market is. But the Bitcoin market over the last two weeks has really had an upward trend, really stabilized and kept its price around $30,000 per coin. And I believe that's going to, uh, if it continues on the trend it's on, it could be a tailwind for a uh, block for the remainder of the year. One thing to remind you is they acquired Afterpay on the 31st of January. Afterpay is a next generation lending app. It's really interesting that they use artificial intelligence and algorithms to make lending decisions on loans. And it's the pay later, uh, buy now, pay later concept. And rather than hiring people and having that cost of being a finance company, these guys are really innovating a new way of lending. It's exciting. I think that it has a really bright future and I'm excited that uh, Block is now an owner of Afterpay and this will be a tailwind for the company. Stock prices have been um, trading down. I think the market is punished, especially high growth financial technology companies and Block's price, I believe, is discounted currently. Not for fundamental reasons, just because people don't want growth. They don't want, you know, innovative uh, ideas or stories. They want really solid, you know, oil company. <laughs> it extracts oil, makes a lot of cash, gives me a good dividend kind of concepts. And let's face it, the stock market in 2022 has been a tough, tough market. So right now this stock is currently discounted. My outlook for the company is this is going to be a high growth company over the next couple of years. Then after that, be a consistent grower. They're going to generate free cash flow as well. A really good upside profile for this stock for me. And I believe I could double my stock price several times in this investment over the next 10 years. So I'm going to buy more shares. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you found it interesting. Uh, do me a favor and like my video. That really helped my channel. If you like the video and would like to see more content like this, consider subscribing. Good luck investing in 2022.